it's an honor and a privilege and an absolute joy to be here in the beautiful office of Shambhala Publications in Boulder, Colorado. I've grown up like many others in my generation in India, admiring the wonderful work that Shambhala, Shambhala has done over the years. And uh, it's a special delight to know that a book which I co-edited with my dear friend Ruskin Bond called The Himalaya will be published here by Shambhala. Uh, Ruskin Bond uh, is one of the most popular writers in India, both for children and for other generations. And uh, his uh, co-editing of the book brought a unique perspective of somebody who has lived all his life in Missouri and uh, known the mountains uh, intimately. Uh, as for me, I grew up in the mountains. I am a part of the Pahari or the mountain community in central India, in a place called Kumau. And uh, I, I love the mountains all the way through, uh, from uh, the, where they begin in the Indian mountains in Ladakh, but of course they begin higher up from that in the Hindu Kush, and then they go down all the way uh, from Nepal uh, to Nepal, uh, uh, my hometown, Nenital, the state borders Nepal with the Kali River. Then you have Bhutan, you have India's Northeast. And uh, all these places have a unique identity and cultural imprint. Um, the, the Himalayas are the youngest mountains in the world, besides being the tallest. And, and there's an energy about them. Uh, which I find in mountains nowhere else. Here in the Rockies, I find a difference or a strength. And uh, I think the Rockies are in many ways even more beautiful than the Himalayas. But the Himalayas have a different personality because of the centuries and millennia of spiritual searching associated with them. So our book here looks at different aspects of the Himalayas from the politics of Kashmir to the mysticism of Rabindranath Tagore to so many other cameos and uh, uh, perspectives on these beloved mountains.